What's up, everyone? Happy Monday. Monday fun day. Back to the grind for most of us in the uh, real estate world. Every day's a grind. But uh, the nine to fivers, you're back in that commute. Everyone's off vacation. Lots of traffic this morning. And uh, yeah, back to the grind. So on here to ride today. We're over here at the Stephen McDonald Memorial over in Westwood Park. Real pretty spot. Garden of forgiveness. Love is the way. And uh, it's freezing again this morning. I'm really getting tired of this cold weather. Uh, I think it's worse that I spent some time in Tampa and realized that you can wake up to 80 degrees in sun in the winter. So I don't know why we here where the air hurts our face, but for some reason we do it. But anyway, let's get you to the message of the day. Message of the day. <clears throat> message of the day. Um, do you jump to conclusions and overact? Um, so yesterday, um, started out the day out in the Hamptons, uh, tiled the backsplash for my mom. She had bought tiles for the backsplash in the kitchen now. Built a house, I don't know, 20 something years ago. Never did the backsplash. Tiles been sitting there for like two years. Finally, I said, you know what? Enough of this. Let me do it. Broke out my tiles. So I haven't tiled in a bunch of years since I used to flip houses, but uh, it's like riding a bike. So I'll post some pictures of that later. It came out good. And then um, my sisters were in Florida, and they needed to be picked up from the airport with all their luggage and stuff. So dad was out in Hamptons with me, and we uh, jumped in the car and shot back about an hour and a half ride to LaGuardia and got them picked up and got them home safe and dropped off them and all their luggage and all that stuff and home safe, all good stuff. Um, went home, uh, had dinner with the kids, and went to go. Um, now my truck was parked out in front of the house. Uh, my laptop bag was in the bed because I had moved it out of the cab so that everyone could sit down. And I went out to the truck and I went to grab my laptop and it was missing. And I panicked. I thought someone stole it out of the back of the truck. I'm like, tell me someone grabbed my laptop out of the back of the truck. And we live in a safe town. And not really, you know, I never really thought about stuff like that. But I'm panicking now because all my information's in my laptop. Um, I don't really have it backed up the way I should because none of us do. And um, I panicked, literally panicked. But then uh, I took a deep breath and retraced my steps. And I said, hey, you know what? I dropped my sister off and she had all her luggage in the back with my laptop. Maybe, um, maybe they grabbed it by accident. We were unloading the truck. It was dark. So I called up my sister and she looked around and she realized that she has a very similar bag and she has two of them now. So one was mine. So um, great relief, went over there, got my laptop bag and all was well. But for that minute there, I panicked because I jumped to conclusions. I thought the worst case scenario, rather than thinking the best case scenario, I thought the worst case scenario and lost my joy, got all upset. Honestly, it kind of threw me off for the rest of the night. And it makes me think in life, what are we jumping to conclusions on? What are we, uh, what are we acting on without knowing all the information? Um, kind of important when you think about it. A lot of us overreact to stuff. A lot of us don't know all the facts, don't know all the figures, and we get crazy over it. We lose our joy. Um, so as you go through life, before you get excited over something, Take a minute, step back, and analyze the full equation, the full process, and make sure that you know all your facts and figures before you make that conclusion, before you get upset, before you lose your joy. Um, know what's going on. Know what's going on. Um, we all get a little crazy. Life's a little crazy, and we're quick to react. And we're very reactionary. We can't be so reactionary. We need to be thoughtful. We need to be intentional. And we need to, uh, again, not let stuff get us so excited so quick. Um, not make mountains out of molehills, as they say. All right, so there's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers over here. Beautiful morning. It's really cold. Getting tired of this weather. Can't wait for some warm. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Dear God, help us to not overreact to situations that uh, we can control. Um, help us to know all our facts and all our figures before we get crazy over something. Uh, we're very quick to react and help us to not be so reactionary. Help us to stay at peace and stay at joy. Amen. All right. So, uh, it is another cold morning. It's Monday. It's a sunshine day, not a cloud in the sky. So, we make the best of it. Enjoy the sunshine. Try and stay warm. Don't lose your joy. Don't get excited over stuff. Uh, it's real quick to lose your joy and get excited over stuff that really, at the end of the day, isn't a big deal. Think about it. How many times have you gotten excited over something and uh, it really turned out to be nothing? All right. So, there's your message. Have a great day, everyone. God bless. And uh, stay warm. All right, everyone. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.